how to create a support ticket system in ClickUp. Hello guys and welcome to this new tutorial. In today's video, I'm going to show you how you can create a ticketing system using ClickUp. How you can go ahead and receive the customer concerns or your employees concern and how you can give the feedback. All that by setting up some emails and a little bit of automation. So it is very easy and very simple. All you need to do is to follow up carefully the tutorial from the beginning till the end and you are going to be good to go. The first thing that you need to do is having an account within the ClickUp platform. So as you can see, we have uh, here the account opened. We have our dashboard. Everything is in order and every task is set. So with this, we're going to create a new space or a workspace that is going to be specialized for this task. So we are going to head over the left bar right there or the left side of the screen. We are going to see the control panel of this dashboard. So we are going to see here the spaces. This is the space or workspaces that we have and we are going to work with. So for the additional right there settings, you're going to head over the top right there a little bit. We are going to see the inboxes, the docs, the dashboard, the clips, time sheets, and more. So now we are going to create our new space by clicking on the uh, button right there, which has uh, the plus sign. And from here, we are going to put the name of it. For example, tickets or ticket system. Now we are going to select here the icon of it. And also we are going to give the space a color. So we are going to give this color to it. For example, you can go ahead and use this as a PC or a desktop a monitor like that. The description is going to be here uh, the same as the title, for example, not this one, but we are going to type in this and then we are going to click on continue. Now we are going to see here the different uh, tasks. So you are going to give it, for example, for the starter, the marketing teams, the product process engineering, the project management, these workflows are going to be here defined by the beginning of uh, creating the account. So you are going to have here uh, all of the flows or the workflows that you have set. For example, I'm going to set it for the starters. Uh, right there or the marketing team. Uh, it is not going to be here for the marketing team. So the product plus engineering. For the default views, you are going to set up here a list, a board. I'm going to enable the team. Uh, the timeline is not going to be necessary. The table also, the workload here. So we are going to set up here the activity. We are going to click on done for this. The tasks right there for the these ones. So we have active scoping in design. So we are not going to use those. So we are going to head here. Maybe you can go ahead and set up this. So not started. I'm going to change the color of it to orange. So we are going to delete all of these, for example. And here we are going to add another one. She's going to be here, the blue one. I'm going to put it like that. I'm going to name it here uh, in contact, for example, with the, uh, let's say here, the person. I'm going to click on save, boom. Now we are going to make this here uh, ready for, uh, let's say here, the active here, set up uh, or everything, um, the resolution is on the, uh, let's say here on the way, for example, and for the done one, we are going to set here result. Uh, here, a canceled, we are going to set up here closed. We're going to apply the changes. And for the click apps, we are going to see here all the click apps. So we are going to let here the tags, the email, the priority, multiple assignees, yes. Custom fields, yes, time tracking, time estimates, no, remap, 
I'm going to uh, set up here the incomplete warning. Your scheduling, no. Show status bar progress. We, I, I think that I'm not going to use that, but I'm going to create this space like that. So we are going to create this space. Remember to take your time or all the time to create your space because this is the workflow that you're going to use. So you need to uh, carefully decide whatever um, here assignees, team, also tasks that you are going to have. So you're not going to confuse the team how they can work. Now, on the ticket system, we're going to add rather a list. So we are going obviously to click on the plus button and then we are going to add a list. And this list is going to be right there. Let's name it, for example, customer support. We are going to create it. Here we have the customer support. I'm going to delete the first list. So this is the backlog. I'm going to set it here like that. This is the color of the backlog. So now we are going to add something to it like a form. So we are going to add a submission form in order to get the information about the issues, also the email address of that as the person that has sent it or submitted the form, and also some attachment if they have a, a screen a sh shot of the uh, problem or something like that. I'm going to click on the view and from here we're going to see the popular ones and we are going to see the more views, which is going to be form. So right there, you can go ahead and create the form. And here uh, your plan is listed to one form. So we're going to use only the one form. So from here, we are going to see multiple uh, form of forms. So here we have feedback form, project intake, order form, job application, IT request, and you can go ahead and create it from scratch. Obviously, I'm going to create it from scratch. Now, we're going to add a custom field for the first thing. So we have the editing panel, and also we have the preview. We are going to click on editing. Now, before adding something, I am going to maybe add a, the, a, the uh, task name, for example, or a, right there, I'm going to start with the custom field by creating a custom field. And here we are going to type in email. So we are going to add the email and name it email, obviously. So we are going to click on create, boom. Now we are going to drag and drop it here. So the form right there, I'm going to add here submission, submit, for example, your uh, issue. And here we have the email. Now we are going to add, for example, a, a start date, or we can add, a, for example, the task description like this. And we are going to put here the issue. And also we are going to add something like an attachment to reinforce here the issue screenshot like that of the issue. And here we have our form. So we are going to see here email, the issue, and here we have it. And also the submit button. So that was for the uh, specificities right there of the form. Now let's go here to the uh, uh, parameters or the setting of our account. We're going to see here the parameters by checking the profile, or we can go ahead and head over here. Where is my, so here I found the settings that was here and I didn't sew it unfortunately. So we are going to click on settings. And from here we are going to click on click apps. And then we are going to type in email. You are going to see here the email. So we are going to enable it here into the, or make sure that you are going to enable it into the ticket system. So now we are going to click on here and click or type in custom, custom like that, or we are going to type in ID. So we are going to see here that we have the custom task IDs. So we are going to enable that. 
Unfortunately, it is going to be here uh, the plan for the business uh, category or business subscription. You need to upgrade to this plan to add your task ID right there. Also, uh, label it right there into the uh, specific area of the uh, workspace. So I'm going back here to the workspace. We are going to see here the lists. For example, I'm going to uh, submit here a form. So for example, we are going to add here this and the issue. For example, let's go ahead and add, I have, for example, a problem when logging in. So we are going uh, the uh, here, as you can see the editing, I'm going to add it here. It is not required to set that. So we're going to set up here everything. Now we are going to click here on the preview. For example, this one, I'm going to add here an email. Here we are going to add again the issue problem. Problem when with the login like that i'm going to click on submit when you go to the list you're going to see here a for submission when you click on it you're going to see here the details about the form uh, right there like the email address here you are going to see the uh, problem you can go ahead and uh, set the task you can create a checklist and here you can see the attachments. And now we are going to see here on the comment section. When you click on it, you're going to see here a comment and also an email. So you can go ahead and link an email right there, a Google email or whatever professional email that you are going to send. And two, or right there is going to be here uh, the suggested emails. So you are going to set up this, for example. The subject you are going to put here a re or response and for the form submission, you can go ahead and get this form submission since we don't have uh, this one. And then you can go ahead and start the chat about uh, the, with this person about the uh, problem right there and etc. When you set up this task, you're going simply to set right there or click on the status of this uh, right there to set the a new uh, status of it. For example, to do, or you can go ahead and click a uh, near resolution or closed or whatever. So we are going simply right there uh, to let the assignee see how they can do that and boom. So you can go ahead and set up the assignee, for example, or like that, the priority high or urgent, for example, you can go ahead and set the tracking times and tags and etc. So this is how simple it is to set up the ticket system. Also how to automate it by setting up the email. So that was all for today's video. Thank you guys for watching. I hope that you have enjoyed the content and hope to see you soon on the next one.